In this video, we'll explore how to write an expression for the nth term. Here is a sequence. 5, 8, 11, 14 and 17. In a sequence, we have the first term, the second term, the third term and so on. So the first term would be n equals 1 the second term would be n equals 2, the third term would be n equals 3, and so on. The n stands for the number or position in the sequence. Finding the first 10 numbers in this sequence is pretty straightforward, as we just keep counting up in threes. However, finding larger positions, such as the 40th term, would be time-consuming. Therefore, we use a formula to determine any term in the sequence, which is called the nth term expression. So now I'm going to show you how to write an expression for the nth term. First, we need to work out the difference between each number in the sequence. In this sequence, we are adding 3 to each number. This is going to make the first part of the nth term, 3n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence is adding 3 each time, we need to subtract 3 to find the previous term. So 5, take away 3, is 2. Because the previous term is 2, we're going to add 2 to the expression. Now we can test our expression to make sure it's correct. Let's test the third term, which we know should be 11. So as it's the third term, we're going to pop 3 into the expression instead of n. 3 times 3 is 9, and then add 2, which is 11. So the nth term expression was correct. We can use the nth term expression to find any term in the sequence. So now we can find the 40th term of the sequence by using 40 in place of n. 3 times 40 is 120. And then add 2 is 122. So the 40th term in this sequence is 122. Now let's have a go at finding the nth term of different sequences. I'm going to find the nth term for six different sequences. If you'd like to have a go at solving these yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here's the first sequence. 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. First, we need to work out the common difference. In this sequence, we're adding 10 to each number. So the first part of this expression is 10n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence is adding 10 each time, we need to subtract 10 to find the previous term. So 30, take away 10, is 20. So as the previous term was 20, we're going to add 20 to this expression. So the nth term expression for this sequence is 10n add 20. Here's the next sequence. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. First, we need to work out the common difference. In this sequence, we're adding 2 to each number. So the first part of the expression is 2n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence is adding 2 each time, we need to subtract 2 to find the previous term. So 1 take away 2 is minus 1. So as the previous term is minus 1, we're going to subtract 1 
from this expression. So the nth term expression for this sequence is 2n minus 1. Here's the next sequence. 19, 15, 11, 7 and 3. First, we need to work out the common difference. In this sequence, we're subtracting 4 from each number. So the first part of this expression is minus 4n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence subtracts 4 each time, we need to add 4 to find the previous term. So 19 add 4 is 23. So as the previous term is 23, we're going to add 23 to the expression. So the nth term expression for this sequence is minus 4n add 23. Here's the next sequence. 2, 7, 12, 17, 22. First, we need to work out the common difference. In this sequence, we're adding 5 to each number. So the first pass of this expression is 5n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence is adding 5 each time, we need to subtract 5 to find the previous term. So 2 take away 5 is minus 3. So as the previous term is minus 3, we're going to subtract 3 from the expression. So the nth term expression for this sequence is 5n take away 3. Here's another sequence. Minus 4, minus 7, minus 10, minus 13 and minus 16. First, we need to work out the common difference. In this sequence, we're subtracting 3 from each number. So the first part of this expression is minus 3n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence is subtracting 3 each time, we need to add 3 to find the previous term. So minus 4 add 3 is minus 1. So as the previous term is minus 1, we're going to subtract 1 from the expression. So the nth term expression for this sequence is minus 3n take away 1. Here's the last sequence. Minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0 and 2. First, we need to work out the common difference. In this sequence, we're adding 2 to each number. So the first part of this expression is 2n. Now we need to find the term that comes before the first term. As this sequence is adding 2 each time, we need to subtract 2 to find the previous term. So minus 6 take away 2 is minus 8. So as the previous term is minus 8, we're going to subtract 8 from the expression. So the nth term expression for this sequence is 2n take away 8. Now it's your turn. Let's put your skills to the test with a challenge. Here is a sequence. 100, 80, 60, 40 and 20. Your task is to find the nth term for this sequence. Once you've found the nth term, can you find the 50th term of this sequence? Let me know your answers in the comments section.